You got those big blue eyes Drive me crazy, make me fantasize About you, baby, and you smell so sweet Like fresh big daisies, call me Demer Cause your heart's so tasty Let's make the easiest cookies ever. Let's make M&M cookies with only four ingredients. One cup of peanut butter, three quarters of a cup of sugar, and one egg. Mix it up. Add in a third of a cup of M&M's. Form into bowls. Place on a tray. Flatten them out. Bake at 350. Look at that. It's too easy. There we have the easiest cookies ever. These are too easy not to make. Let's make maple breakfast sausage stuffed pancakes. This is so easy. Just prepare your favorite pancake mix. Make sure you don't over mix your batter too. Then drop your breakfast sausage patties in the batter and flip to coat. Next, add butter or oil to a pan over medium heat. Then add your pancakes and fry on either side until golden brown. Personally, I've always loved mixing my pancakes and sausage or pancakes and bacon. So this seemed like a natural combination to me. Once they're done, I just topped my sausage stuffed pancakes with butter and more maple syrup. I have so many more things I want to stuff into a pancake. Drop your suggestions in the comments. So I'm going to show you how to make Kinder Bundle Blondies. And honestly, these are the nicest things I've ever tried. I'm not even over exaggerating. You're going to want to add your butter, sugar, both types of sugar. Give that a mix. And then your eggs, your vanilla and your flour to a bowl. Make sure you sieve it because it just goes all lumpy if not. And we don't want that. And then you're going to get your tray and then put like a layer of it at the bottom. And then I put like a layer of Kinder Bueno and then back again with another layer of the Bondi mix on top. We have some of this like Nutella spread thing, but you can use the Morrison's one. Um, It's that like hazelnut one that tastes like the inside of a Kinder Bueno. You know the one. And yeah, once that's done, it should look like this. You've got to leave them to set overnight. Make sure you leave them to set. <laughs> You need to try this edible M&M cookie dough. It's cookie dough you don't have to worry about getting sick from. Cream a stick of butter with a half cup of brown sugar and three tablespoons of white sugar. Add in three tablespoons of milk and a dash of vanilla. Bake a cup of flour at 350 for seven minutes to kill any possible bacteria. Mix it into the dough along with a half cup of M&M's. The star of the show. And there you have cookie dough that you don't have to worry about getting sick from. So good and so fun. These are homemade sweets. The whole plate is 90 calories. Just to clarify, this is not my recipe, but I have tagged the person who made the original video because I eat these all the time, so I thought I'd show you them. You want to get yourself a pack of sugar-free jelly. Obviously, I've gone strawberry because it's the best flavor. Slap a whole pack in a bowl. Add half a pint of boiling water. Give it a very nice stir to get rid of all of those lumps. Then you're going to need some leaf gelatin. You can get it anywhere. I got mine at Sainsbury's. And you want to add three leaves to your mixture. And stir that all in until it dissolves. Then pour three quarters of that mixture into some sort of tub and leave a quarter aside. Whack that in the fridge for 20 minutes. Whilst letting that set, you want to add 160 grams of low-fat Greek yogurt to your other quarter. And then mix that all together. Then when it's set, you want to pour that yogurt and jelly mixture all over it. Make sure that's spread nice and evenly, then slap it in the fridge for a couple of hours and keep checking on it. When they're set, just cut them up and you should get something a little like this. Rice Krispie Treats are the easiest dessert to make, and we're going to make them better. Three tablespoons butter. Melt it down. Melt until the butter turns brown. That's going to give it the best flavor ever. Add in a bag of marshmallows. Let it get nice and melty. Add in vanilla and a pinch of salt. Stir in six cups of Rice Krispies. Look at that. Pour into a grease baking tray and flatten out. Let it cool, then slice. Easy, delicious Rice Krispie Treats. You need to make these. Okay, so since I only have 60 seconds, I'm going to try to make the most perfect macaroon. So you're going to need a bowl, two large egg whites, a sifter, granulated sugar, one-fourth cup of that. You're going to need one cup of confectioner sugar, and you're going to need almond flour of your choice, three-fourths cup of that. Then you're going to need a tray, and you can print out templates from Google. Sift the one cup of confectioner sugar. Now you're going to sift the almond flour into the same bowl. Mix the two. Next, you're going to beat the egg whites on low till they become frothy. Put half of the cup of sugar in. Beat again on medium for about a minute. Put the rest in and be on high for three minutes. Add food coloring if you desire. You know it's ready when it is stiff. You should be able to tip the bowl upside down without it spilling. Pour half the mixture in and fold. Pour the other half in and do the same. This should be the consistency. Put into piping bag. Pipe. Bake at 350 for 16 minutes. Cool and frost. Hi guys, today is a special video. I'm going to be making ice cream from scratch, so let's see how it turns out. So first you want to grab a bowl and put three-fourths of a cup of white sugar. Then we need one cup of heavy whipping cream, 
two and one fourths of a cup of milk. Since I'm making vanilla ice cream, we need two teaspoons of vanilla extract. I'm gonna mix that really lightly. So I popped my bowls into the freezer in the morning so that I can put my mixture inside for the machine. Pouring it in. So I put the mixture into the freezer bowl and it's mixing right now for 30 minutes. And voila, I put it in the freezer for two hours and then I took it out and put it in a bowl and it's ready to enjoy. So now we're gonna taste test. Mm. Yum. Yum. <laughs> I'm gonna show you guys how to make tiramisu. Okay, stop adding two egg yolks into a bowl with 60 grams of caster sugar. Just give that a mix together until it's light and fluffy. Then you wanna add in 150 grams of mascarpone cheese along with 80 grams of whipped cream. Just mix this together until it's smooth and then set to one side. Now in another bowl, add about 100 to 150 milliliters of really strong coffee or espresso along with a good splash of coffee liqueur. Now you wanna get your lady fingers and just dip them in the coffee mixture. Break it in half so it fits whatever jar you're using and just pop it into the jar, followed by a layer of your cream mixture. Tessie like mine a little extra chocolatey. I just do a little layer of chocolate in between. Then you just wanna repeat that process. So another layer of lady fingers, another layer of the cream. Now these just need to go in the fridge for a few hours. I personally prefer to let them sit in the fridge overnight. And then to serve, I just like to do a really nice thick layer of cocoa powder on top. And that is how you make beautiful and super easy homemade tiramisu. blogger I follow on Instagram said that these are the best brownies that she has ever had and it's not even her own recipe. Step one, get any fudgy brownie mix, follow the directions and bake it. Step two, while it's still hot, spread one and a half cups of chunky peanut butter on top. Step three is you're going to take two cups of chocolate chips and one cup of creamy peanut butter this time and melt it over low heat or a double broiler. Step four, take the chocolate chips and the creamy peanut butter that you melted and add it to three cups of Rice Krispies. Take your Rice Krispie mixture and put it on top of the brownies with the chunky peanut butter. Right, cover these beauties for at least 30 minutes or until set. This is really bad timing because I am on a 40 day fast from sweets. So I called up my neighbor and she is a willing participant. Best peanut butter brownie I've had and I enjoy the crunch. I heard you like Nutella. Well, keep on watching because we're making donuts Nutella. Flour, baking powder, and mix, mix, mix. Cracking an egg in the middle, adding milk, a little bit of oil, obviously you can use butter, and sugar. Mix, 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 and we add Nutella. Yup, that is the main flavor here, and I'm so excited. Should look like this. And then we start layering the piping bag with the batter and real Nutella. Duh. We keep on going, and then we oil the pan because it's a very necessary step, and I sometimes miss it. Should look like this, and we start piping. This is my favorite part. I don't know why. It's just so satisfying, but also fun. Here is from far and here is from close. Look at that Nutella swirl inside. Come on. Should look like this and into the oven. Come back for part two. Welcome back for part two. Should look like this. Now for the icing. Meringue powder, cocoa powder, and sugar. I mean powder sugar. A little bit of milk and we mix, mix, mix. I added a little bit of chocolate and we start dipping our donuts for that marble effect. Let them dry and should look like this. And now, if you thought that I forgot, I wanted to add a pop of something. So we're adding gold. Should look like this. And no, we did not forget about the glitter. Here we go. I forgot to film it, but see... It's so beautiful. For the recipe, make sure to follow me on TikTok. Go to my Instagram. It's that easy. Make sure to follow and go to stories to find out. See you there. Bye. Let's do some cooking.
Let's make a mug cake, aka the actual easiest dessert to make ever. You make it in the microwave. Mix a quarter cup of flour, two tablespoons of cocoa, three tablespoons of sugar, a quarter teaspoon of baking powder, and a pinch of salt. Then add a quarter cup of milk and two tablespoons of oil. Mix it all together. Add a dash of vanilla and a sprinkling of chocolate chips. Pour into a grease mug and microwave for about 90 seconds. Look at that, we just made a chocolate cake in the microwave. The proper way to serve is with some ice cream, and there we have a chocolate mug cake. It doesn't get easier than this, and this is so delicious. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and YouTube. If you like s'mores, well then you're gonna love these s'mores cookie cups. So I wanted to tell y'all a spooky campfire story while the video was playing in the back, but I started scaring myself when I was looking them up. So no scary stories, but let me know about a crazy time that y'all had at camp in the comments, okay? Anyways, y'all see Elmo in the back right there? The marshmallows are always my favorite part of s'mores. I wrote all the directions on the video, but it's also on my website, link in bio. Let's make homemade salted Nutella. Mine is almost sugar-free too. Toast nine ounces of raw hazelnuts in the oven at 375 for about 10, 15 minutes until the skins start to crack and come off. Then wrap all your hazelnuts in a kitchen towel and kind of move them around. This will help loosen the skins. After you've removed the skins, just add all your hazelnuts to a food processor or blender. Keep blending until it turns into nut butter. You may have to stop and start your machine a couple of times, but it'll get there. At this point, you can stop here. You've got some amazing toasted hazelnut butter, but we're going a little further. Add one quarter cup of unsweetened cacao powder and one cup of powdered sugar or your sugar substitute of choice and blend. The machine running, add two tablespoons of canola oil, a splash of vanilla extract, a big pinch of salt. I used about a half tablespoon to a tablespoon and then a half a cup of melted bittersweet chocolate. Once it's blended, you are done. This stuff is pure magic. And I think I know what we're gonna make with this. Let's make homemade honeycomb. Wow. In a pot, add two cups of sugar, a half cup of corn syrup, a cup of water, and a fourth cup of honey. Then heat on medium until it reaches 300, and remove from the heat and add four teaspoons of baking soda. Pour it on parchment and cool for about an hour. This only went up to 220, by the way. Today, I'm gonna show you how to make this delicious cotton candy milkshake. Start off by decorating our glass. I have some chocolate ganache that I dyed pink. Dip your glass in there. Down the sides, and even on the inside. Now for some blue, do the same thing. Just let it drip down the outside. In a blender, put one cup of milk. Put the cotton candy flavoring. Four to five scoops of our cotton candy ice cream. Now it seems like I'm missing something. Oh, Colin. Oh, hey Fun Foods. So you're making a cotton candy shake, right? What about some cotton candy crunch? Thank you. Now let's pour a little bit of this in here. About half a cup and blend. Now pour it into our glass. Decorate with some Cool Whip. A handful of crushed cotton candy Captain Crunch cereal, colorful lollipop, another colorful lollipop, and some cotton candy. Now time for the taste test. That is good. You can even eat some with your tiny spoon. Always better with a tiny spoon.